Hello, my name is Leanna, and today we are going to be taking a tour of three historical locations in Hyde Park. This is Franklin Roosevelt's home. He was born and raised here and spent the majority of his life here, except for the 12 years he was in the White House. The first room is the formal sitting room. If you came to visit the president, this is where he would greet you. As you know, he contracted polio in 1921 at the age of 39, and since he could not move his legs, his warm smile would distract you from the fact that he never got up to shake your hand. He hid his condition because he was afraid if people knew of his physical disability, they would question his mental ability. I'll just give you a moment to look around. Roosevelt's wheelchair was a kitchen chair with wheels replacing the legs. See if you can find his wheelchair. It's a little tricky. This is the dining room. There are portraits of both his mother Sarah and his father James. Notice Roosevelt's chair. It was made like that so he could get in and out of it from his wheelchair with ease. The dining room table could fit five to 15 people. That's a lot of people. This next room is the snuggery. Sarah Roosevelt spent a lot of time here. She ordered servants around and paid bills in this room. See if you can find the TV. Here's a hint, it's not a flat screen. This is just a pantry that the servants used. This next room is a guest bedroom that was not open to the public at the time of my tour. This is the dumbwaiter. Roosevelt pulls on the ropes to get to the second floor. People said he had the upper body strength of a boxer. This is the servant's wing. The servants lived and worked here. Unfortunately, it was not open at the time of my tour, so I could not explore it. This is the pink room. It was used as a guest bedroom and was used by many famous guests, including King George IV and Sir Winston Churchill. This next room is the boyhood bedroom. Roosevelt occupied this room until his marriage in 1905. As each of his sons became the oldest in the house, the room was given to them. There's a sign for the Harvard Crimson because Roosevelt was the editor for the newspaper there. This is the bathroom. If you're wondering, the toilet is behind the door. A bedroom. There are a lot of them because Roosevelt had six kids, five of which made it to adulthood. This is a guest bedroom. It was used as a sitting room until the house was remodeled in 1915 when it became the guest bedroom. This is Roosevelt's bedroom. He shared this room with his wife, Eleanor. Did you know that Franklin and Eleanor were fifth cousins once removed? It's true. Eleanor's maiden name was Roosevelt. This is another bedroom, probably used for one of Roosevelt's kids. This is 
Roosevelt's closet. It's really big. This is Eleanor Roosevelt's room. Eleanor never felt at home in this house because it was owned by her mother-in-law. Her home in Valk Hill that we will visit later is where she felt truly at home. Sarah Roosevelt's room. It was converted into a guest bedroom sometime after her death between 1941 and 1946. This is the view from the back of the house. Roosevelt wanted to preserve the view of the Hudson River, but ironically some of the trees that he planted have obscured the view. These are the stables on Roosevelt's property. Roosevelt loved to ride horses and was quite good at it. He won many awards, but of course, this all changed when he became paralyzed. Look at the different horses' names, as some of them are very creative. This is the bathtub that he washed the horses in. And here is where Roosevelt stored all of his gear for the horses. These wooden notches are where he kept the saddles. You can press this button to see Eleanor Roosevelt speak. Here are all the pictures of Roosevelt's horses. And here are all the awards he won. Welcome to Val Kill, the home of Eleanor Roosevelt. This is the stone cottage. It was basically a pool house. Yes, they did have a pool here. Here's a picture of the pool since I didn't get a video. This is Eleanor's house. This room is her office. Did you notice that the sign on her desk is spelled wrong? This is because a little boy made it for her, but she kept it on her desk just in case he came back. is the dining room. Eleanor used very cheap china in this house and she had cups that looked like they were from a diner. It didn't matter if you were rich or poor, she would treat you like family. In her house, you could just pull, pull up a seat next to anyone, even if they were royalty. This is the living room. Eleanor had many pictures in here and all over the house. It was her unique way of decorating. She even had a picture of her mother-in-law, Sarah, who many people say she wasn't very fond of. This is the only house Eleanor ever owned, so she decorated it how she liked and did whatever she pleased. This is 
is Hyde Park. It was one of many Vanderbilt mansions. It was under construction at the time of my visit, but it should be finished by mid-October, so I would suggest you go see the house when the construction is finished. This home belonged to Frederick and Louise Vanderbilt. It was their country estate. They only used it half of the year. They threw parties here, but never for more than 16 guests. I believe this room over here is the bathroom, but it's hard to tell when it has no toilet. This is a grand staircase. This is the men's room. During parties, the men and women would split up and go into separate rooms to chat. The women's room is across the hall. The men's room is very dark and cluttered, with game lining the walls, much like a modern day man cave. In here is the formal sitting room, where men and women would meet up during a party after they went into their separate rooms. They would usually play cards or listen to music. These are tapestries in the hallway as you walk into the formal sitting room. I just thought they were cool. I believe this is another formal sitting room, but it's hard to tell when there is no furniture in the room. This is the ceiling in the formal sitting room. Isn't it amazing? This is just a crazy spiral staircase. This is the ladies party room. It's modeled after French design and the walls are made with real 24 karat gold. This is the red guest bedroom. Everything in the bedroom matched, so if you had towels in the red guest bedroom, they would be red. This is a small closet with a big story. Unfortunately, I don't have time to tell it. In here is the blue guest bedroom. It's the biggest of the guest bedrooms, and it's the only one to have its own bathroom. This is the pink guest bedroom. Did you know that Frederick and Louise never had any kids? This is a bathroom. This is what the room of one of the servants in the house would look like. This is the ice box. This is the servant's dining room. This is the servant's kitchen. This is the exterior of the house. From here you can see all of the scaffolding. Thanks for watching and please remember to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell icon to get notified when I post. Press the like button if you want me to do something like this again and remember to go visit these places in real life because there are many stories that I was not able to tell you in this video and no video camera can capture the feeling of actually being in these amazing places. Thanks for watching.